Galaxy Z2140 Analyze Expert Order Tracking Up to 4 Channels My name is Johan van Pijmbroek and in this video tutorial I will show you how to collect with the Z2140 Spectra data up to till 4 channels based on the order tracking but before we show you how to do it on the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer, let's take a quick look and explain a little bit what is order tracking. Now, normally when fabrication data is collected on rotating equipment, we are doing something that is called spectrum averaging. That means that in reality, when fabrication data is coming into an analyzer, Based on the waveform, a spectrum is calculated, but the final spectrum is not a spectrum that is represented at that moment in time. In reality, this process will be repeated several times, and at the end, an average spectrum will be stored. This is to have a good representation of the vibration data that is coming from rotation of the machine, in the final spectrum and to eliminate random or one-time vibration sources. Now this methodology creates an issue when the speed is changing on the installation during data collection. Here is a good example. In the first average the imbalance value was 24 Hertz. In the second average the speed was a little bit reduced and the imbalance value was 21 Hertz. During the third average, the speed was higher again, 26 Hz. Now, if we average that, the stored spectrum will show you three peaks. Every peak will have one third of the original amplitude, but the final stored spectrum is more or less rubbish because the speed was changing during data collection. To overcome that, if you have also a speed pulse, a tag pulse, you can do order tracking and what is order tracking during data collection the horizontal shaft the units will be converted into orders so the 24 hertz is now expressed as one order the 21 hertz is expressed as one order the 26 is expressed as one order and if you now do averaging based on order you have a spectrum stored that is meaningful we will now take a look on the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer, how to do that. What you are seeing now in front of you is a home screen of the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. We will do the two examples. We will first collect data on a machine that is changing speed with the normal averaging and then with the order tracking process. So first of all we go to advanced analyze, we go to manual analyze and here you see we will collect the spectrum from 0 till 2000 Hz, 1600 resolution lines with normal averages and with four inputs. I will now start the machine and collect data and during data collection the speed will change all the time. So when I now expand the peak, you see here this was the imbalance value, but the imbalance value is not one peak now, but is multiple peaks because the speed changed during data collection and the amplitude of all those peaks are wrong, so more or less this spectrum is completely wrong. So how to do the order process, order tracking, let's start from the home screen. So, on the home screen of the CSI Machinery Health Analyzer, go to Advanced Analyze, go to with F7 More Experts, and here F8 Order Tracking. Now, Order Tracking, we, you can start it directly with pushing F3, but first of all, let's review quickly the setup in F1 Manual Analyze. And as you see here, I also measure from 0 till 2000 Hz, 1600 lines, 
eight averages but now with the order tracking process. Because with the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer you can go up till four inputs if you want you can measure it now immediately for the four channels if certain channels are disabled here go to F12 input setup F1 select input and now you can activate or deactivate the number of channels so I will start the machine again and collect data and change the speed during data collection So data collection is finished and when I now expand you see at one order I have a nice peak with the correct amplitude. The data can be stored in the job mode by pushing F9 store data. We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.